I'm making an incredible rotisserie curry chicken salad today, and there won't be any cooking at all involved. This recipe is hands down the best curry chicken salad I think you'll ever taste. It's wonderful during the summer months when you don't want to heat up your kitchen or actually any time of year. You can even use your leftover Thanksgiving turkey to make this salad. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel yet, please do. I would really love it. You'll find the recipe for the curried rotisserie chicken salad at Diane's World Cooking on Facebook. You'll find all of my other recipes there too. You'll want to get yourself a rotisserie chicken. Make sure you cool it off and now pull it apart, get the skin off, and then pick all of the meat from the bones. This is so easy and there's no cooking involved. Once you do that, you're going to want to take the pieces of chicken and chop them into about a one or two inch chunk. Don't worry if they're not all perfect looking. You're going to add those to a bowl. I have some celery stalks here and the equivalent of maybe one large celery stalk or two smaller ones. Chop those into about quarter inch pieces and get those into the bowl. I have a beautiful red pepper here and I'm going to quarter it and then clean out the center and then I want to cut this into julienne pieces and then cut those into about a half inch chunk. Um, you can just add those to the bowl right now, so easy. Get a bunch of scallions and you're only going to use the green part. You can save the other part for cooking. So chop those into really small pieces or oh, maybe um, a quarter inch also and add them to the bowl. Measure out one cup of grapes. I really like red grapes in this for the color but I couldn't find any so the green will do and you're just going to cut your grapes in half and then of course you're going to add them to the bowl. And these will be all of your ingredients other than the dressing that you're going to make. So stir them up really well. I'm going to be using a Madras curry powder blend, but the Madras curry powder has a little bit of a sweeter flavor because cinnamon is in it. It's very distinctive, it's fabulous, and you'll really be able to find it just about anywhere now. And if not, there is always Amazon and other places, or Penzi's Spice Company is wonderful too. Um, easy find. Make sure you pick it up and you're going to love it. It's time to make this incredible dressing. So measure out one cup of mayonnaise. You could use yogurt too, but I kind of like the mayonnaise better. And you're going to add that to the bowl. And now I have some chutney, major grays. And it's sort of an apricot chutney. You can use a different one if you can't find this one. This is going to add some sweetness. So you'll have that yin and yang with the curry powder and the chutney. And here's the Madras curry powder. The combination of these flavors is just incredible. I'm adding two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. You could also use a white vinegar, but I wouldn't do balsamic. It would change the color of your vinaigrette. So I have a teaspoon of kosher or sea salt, and this always picks up all the flavors, and also add about maybe six or eight grinds of pepper. Get a whisk now because you really want to blend this well and see how pretty this is. You could even dress a potato salad or a shrimp salad with this. It's a multitasker. It's time to add it to the salad. So get every little bit and then you just want to toss everything around and you are ready. You could add some parsley to this just to add some color, but this is going to just be perfect. I like to serve this on a big platter that's lined with lettuce leaves. Um, if you wanted to make this for a sandwich, you could cut the chicken really small and the peppers, and that would work out too. Please enjoy this incredible salad, and thanks for watching.